Hey, welcome back to Gay for Grixis. We've got us another um, odd deck. Uh, this one we did surprisingly well with. It's uh, White Weenie Flyers, kinda. Turns out this deck is fucking, so fucking good, right? If you just want to crush your way through gold, this is the deck that you want to be playing. So, let's get to it. Um, we've got lots of cheap white guys, efficient creatures, Fairy Guide Mother, which is nice because sometimes, you know, doubles as a buff. Healer's Hawk, Loyal Pegasus, um, Flutter Fox is a bit questionable, but you know, it's, so, it's held its spot. Really, you should be running Tomix instead of uh, Flutter Fox, but Flutter Fox does the job. And we ain't spending it's, four wild cards on this thing. Yeah, no way. It's, for us, it's spending four wild cards, well, three wild cards on one additional toughness on each of our Flutter Foxes, and I don't care to do that, frankly. Not at all. Uh, we got Raise the Alarm, um, sticks out more dudes, uh, Hanged Executioner, sticks out more dudes, and then we've got stuff to take advantage. We've got Venerated Loxodon, you just play this for free and make all your stuff big. Yep. You got Unbreakable Formation, make all your stuff big, er, and give them Indestructible for the turn. So it's good it's for like, a really nice you know, charge. defensive or offensive purposes. Um, your heraldic banner ramps you a little and gives all your guys more attack. What could be better? I'll tell you what can be better. Rally of Wings. Tap all your guys for venerated Loxodon. Rally of Wings. Swing for a game. It comes up. Absolutely fucked. This deck is um, extremely nasty and I would definitely recommend playing it because, my god, we have absolutely destroyed whilst playing with this deck. Oh. As you'll see in the footage because games last like a minute. <laughs> yeah. You get to turn four, you fucking convoke all your guys, and then they go, I can't deal with 20 worth of stats by turn four, and then they just quit. Is what it is. And also, God's Willing comes up, because sometimes you just need to protect, like, one guy in order to make the damage go through, Sometimes or... you just need to sneak him through, sometimes your opponent plays a board wipe, and having that one guy survive would turn the game around. Exactly. Eh. So it's worthwhile just having. Um, the... There's basically no changes that you can make to this deck aside from the Tomnix, um, but there are some versions of the deck that plays like Gideon and such. It's okay, but I would much rather just play the like just kill them with like Rally of Wings and stuff. Yep. Gideon doesn't do that much. It is a good guy, is a, an efficient creature, but otherwise this deck is basically about as fucking optimal as it can be, and I cannot wait for. Uh, the next few sets to just see what like one mana white flyers that we're gonna get. Just <laughs> we to... see more of them than it's happy days for this deck. I cannot wait for the the one mana two one white flyer with haste. That's what this deck needs. What? I'm leaving. <laughs> So before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to remind you guys, if you like this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe, because it really does help us out. And if you want to go even further, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and also Twitch, where you get to see videos like this happen live. Yeah, this is our fucking That's dowry hand. Possible. I think we put out the uh, one drop fairy god mother. Um, yeah. I think you just lay on pressure. I think it's more important to us right now. What's better, a 1-1 one -one or... Uh, uh, plus two, plus one for one I keep playing Ascent. I host myself on your games. Uh -huh. So what's, what's better? A plus two, plus one, or uh, one turn earlier, venerate, uh, venerated Loxodon and a flying two, two? Uh, yeah. Well, I think you want to put Go hey, how do, buddy? What the fuck is up? Yeah, I've not streamed in like about a week or something. Um, Welcome to the uh, Grixis. In fact, you can just put out Raise the Alarm and then Loxodon all of them. You right? Seems nice to me. Or wouldn't it be nice? Etc. Oh, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. You was missing something, you know. Yep. Good song to start with. Um, okay, so. What's the last one? There we go. Oh, cool. What are you gonna there do? We... Turn my stuff into free freeze? Wait, wait. Chump? Oh, so you've not watched this in 20 days. Right, okay. Because we did stream like six days ago, so. <laughs> oh no. Tony, he's played Oko. Oh my god. Here, do we just like. We just keep Loxodon. We just keep Loxodon, and don't we? Hey, Sir Busk, uh, we are playing um, the most. It's not Aidsy, but. It is. It's like a little Aidsy. Uh, we're playing White Weenie, dude. So I'm um, just going to swing in with locks. 
no, face. Fuck it. The Oko doesn't I, interact with this deck. He trades food for our stuff. Well, we're going to make everything bigger and free. So yeah, yeah, it doesn't. You're right. <laughs> Huh. It should, but it won't. Like, the deck just doesn't play big removal. I play the Fallout Fox. No, 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 okay. because then that'll be tradable next time we go. As a free free. We need to get everything bigger than free power. So, we're recording footage for this deck because it's just good enough to actually put up um, on the channel. And it's also just hilarious. You just keep venerated locks down on all your wee guys and tokens, and they either all fly or it makes two of them. And you just cast it for free. Locks down is fucked. You cast it for free and it buffs everything. It is a, a zero cost guy that says give everything a plus one. What? That's fucked. The card's actually fucked. Convokes a hell of a mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we did stream six days ago. See, this guy's baffled. He's like, what the fuck did I do? What's going on? So he's going to make like that into a food, I get. Who cares? Who cares? Oh. Right. Fine by me. That's, I guess. A... Fine, just fine. Fine, just fine. Fine. It's more of an issue than I thought it was going to be. You can put out Flutter Fox and just locks down it though, so it's... Oh my god. Oh, that's annoying. Right, so Flutter Fox, then locks it on. And then you locks it on, not the two locks it ons, right? No, I don't touch the locks it ons, I just swing in with them. Oh, four okay. four's big enough, I make everything else bigger. Sure. We're going wide, not tall. Oh my god, I just realised they gave us a food so it makes Flower Fox fly. Yep. <laughs> Die, idiot. <laughs> Die mad. You fucked, mate. There's not a whole lot the deck can do on 4 mana, so... There's not a whole lot that most decks can do on 4 mana against this. Cool, that's just his turn and now he dies. <laughs> I suppose if he was like playing Esper we'd have reason to be concerned, mm. but he's not, so we don't. <laughs> so how did the modern tournament go? Oh, that's very interesting what he done there, but it doesn't matter because Heraldic Banner's coming down and he's just Could matter dead. less. Could not matter less. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You know very well it wasn't. <laughs> You're dead, chum. <laughs> Minus 32, you see. Good hand. Hand good. Look, it's an army. It is? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my. Christ. When did we become the military industrial complex? <laughs> Man, Shinderu. Christ, we can go raise the alarm into next turn, raise the alarm, Loxodon. Such a good play, I swear to God. Oh, the fool. He's playing this out. It's work for you, mate. That's not a good play right here. It has lifelink, though, bro. Yeah, but... Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do the play. I just auto play well. So. Yeah. Bart did a thing. Nice indeed, bro. Although, now that he's saying nice, that he's probably got like an answer, right? Shut up. Got an answer. How do you deal with four two twos in turn three? Uh, okay. Like I said, <laughs> what answer could he possibly have? Um, yeah. 100%. Now we can't block anything. I mean, you know it's an instant, right? Yeah, but the plus one plus one isn't. Oh, good point, yeah. Hey, Yu-Gi-Oh Cardmaster, what the fuck's going hey, on? God, most, uh... We playing a fun deck today. Oh, wow! I can't believe he skipped to that! Not fun for our opponents. He skipped to that! Click the wee thing at the bottom. I know that or that U takes you to it, but I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a really good hand. So yeah, the commander draft thing might be quite interesting. Um, I think they're trying to make it more of a competitive format. Bafflingly, like... That's really interesting. Yeah, this hand is fucking bowery. Do you mean commander or commander draft? What do you mean? The competitive format. Um, command... I don't know. I, I mean, I guess commander draft, both. but... 
Sure, surely they can't expect you to draft a hundred card deck. Well, hopefully it's not hundred. Sure, like surely like fifty <laughs> or something. Right? A box each. <laughs> That's going to prove to be a problem unless we can kill him fast enough. Right, so we can kill one. We're going to lose both. Well, mm, no. We can put we both just... of these into this, and one survives before we want. No. And then with heraldic banner next turn, that one trades into this. I would just keep hitting him. I just have. So we just ignore both. Yes. Yeah. I think so. Alright, okay. I like your confidence. I'll try it. We'll see if your confidence right. holds up once it becomes gigantic. <clears throat> so you go banner. Yeah. Um, or we can play both of these and lock stone. Mm. Yeah, that might be the best option, yeah. Lockstone can block this. True. He'll only be killing one thing, like. The amount of stats that this deck can just vomit out, turn whatever, is really scary. Yeah, well, this is turn four. No, that was our turn three. No, that was turn. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was turn three. Yeah. Why do we have like 20 fucking stats on board turn three? <laughs> this is too. People are just scooping us. <laughs> oh, I understand, mate, and I don't want any of this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, actually, it's not te terrible to stream like you decide what I do kind of streams. I could maybe be okay, but um, I definitely want my first playthrough to just be me. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Sand is shaping up to be a nice. Shaping up to be fucking nasty, mate. Or... Right, so it's probably Simic. Right, you know what post bugs me more than literally anything. I don't know if you've seen this, but it's a post and it's like um, the moon controls the tides of the earth, something, something, you all be crazy if you think the moon isn't doing something to our bodies when we're 70% water. Yeah, that's some real doofus shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> some real smooth brain thinking. You're six hours in, loving it so far. Like, how, how astrology close... Hours. I know, I know. How close to uh, New Vegas is it? Uh, so we execution. Well, attack first. Yeah. Because we couldn't lock stun anyway. Yeah. Like do, dip it. Rally of Wings would be fucking amazing. Get a load of this three colour smooth brain over here. Real <laughs> OGs play one colour and beat you. Oh, sick. Right, um, so we just. Locks it on our field. Sounds good to me, boss. I think we can still conclave after that. No. Nah. Or one shot. No, we can. Because the locks it on counts. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> You're zero mana removal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's no right. <laughs> On turn four, we put eight stat, eight, eight of stats onto the board and exiled an Oko. <laughs> I'm back. Oh my. Uh, I've... Right, so we shout that Pegasus and we've got a god swelling in hand. And hanged executioner's ability. <laughs> this is why people just skip me, because we we just play one turn that's just way too good, <laughs> and the deck's just all about just blowing all its load in that one turn and hoping it's enough to kill them. And ninety percent of the time, well, guess what it is. Actually, we can tell you, we can, we can decide exactly what percent of the time it is. It is currently, um, 67% of the time it is exactly what we need. And there was that one game where if we didn't flex we would have won, so. Yeah. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> That's a rise. Uh, this is a hand. It's hard to say. It's changed so that they won't get sued by Bethesda, but the feeling's there, right? Well, that's good. Um, 
presume like it seems like so close to how Fallout plays. You know, I never thought I'd ever play a, a, a deck with Loyal Pegasus in it, but here we go. Now, Gruel is a tricky. really out here. Gruel is like an interesting matchup. It can be tricky. So we'll just get a vomit stuff against it. Pretty much. We need to kill it before it kills us, frankly. Yeah. And our land would be really, really, really nice. And our land would be absolutely insane. It would let us go like Heraldic Banner, Guide Mother, and then in turn after go Unbreakable Formation and win the game. Yeah. Nice turn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch dead. Game mother, game mother. Is that enough stats? Uh, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Turn 4 lethal. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to play Quest and Beast and attack us, and like, that's just it. just going to laugh at him. To be fair, it might have the Domni's Ambush, or the Collision Colossus, which is admittedly a thing that the deck plays. Okay. Oh, guess we've got to wait another turn to kill him. Yeah. Well, it depends what we get. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Although, what can we get that we... Well, we'd, need a, we'd need a one-drop haste. We need we need one drop whites with haste. We also need them. Um, uh, I mean, I suppose um, rally of wings would probably get us there, right? Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's got cards. Man's got cards. Uh, well, we can do this. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I see no reason not to. Now he's going to kill two again. And he's you. There's no way he's gonna have like more collision colossus and shit. So we've got two cards that can kill two flying creatures here. Then uh, it'll do the job. But I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Is he hoping we block? <laughs> Seems so. <laughs> nice stump. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yep, yeah, I'm I'm with them on that. I'm gonna. I mean, I have a PS4, so I'm gonna just get it on PS4. But it's not like I'm downloading the Epic Store just to get it. Yo, what songs is? I'm kind of liking it. Dismember noted. I really need to get into more classic death metal. Do shock the flutter fox. Now he's gonna play foot like fiend. Amazing. How fiendish. Well, guess what? I fly over it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Kerchoo. Oh shit! You need. I know. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Did a fucky wucky. Oh, he sacked our artifact. Oh, sh wow, oof. Fucking bad man. Um, Sorry, we just locks it on, right? Sure feels like it. Yeah, definitely feels like it. Kirby. Yeah, Rakdos might legitimately be like a problem matchup. Possibly. I don't think they can ping us quite enough to kill all our shit, though, is the thing. Um, it really depends. In a few turns, like, potentially, depending on what he has. Hmm. Well, I guess we just need to hold the unbreakable formation open then. Ooh. Oh. Well, that, that cost him life, so I'm not so ha unhappy with that. Yeah. I mean, we can also technically just Conclave Tribunal, so it has flying. Um, well, I think we do that once there's a threat on the board. Uh, yeah, so we can just attack with it. Don't. Not yet. I, I really want to make them big, though. Like, I get it, but... It's just not worth it, and, like, cool, we can't actually do anything with that ping, like, at all, so... I suppose this would have just wound up as deal one damage. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Last turn at least. They just reformed after quite some years apart. Probably my favourite among the early Swedish death metal ones. Oh, Dismember. Oh, sure. Right. And they're Swedish. Cool. That's fine. Less fine, but it is fine. The cool thing is, is like, Actually, Conclave just immediately takes Why is care of it. Oh, fuck oh wait, this has uh, reach. It's going to block with us. 
Huh. I don't think I massively care though. Um, no, I feel I should conclave something. Mm, so I think you conclave the Dreadhorde Butcher and then you Unbreakable Formation. I can't play both without tapping one of the guys. Hmm. So um, I think I'm just going to conclave the Dreadhorde and it's... You know what, it would be able to kill us. I'll just swing in with this, right? No, no, no right, so you can conclave the Dreadhorde and then just swing in with the Flutter Fox. It has reach, but it doesn't trade in. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'll appeal. That's fine. God, when he actually think about this turn, fucking hell. I'm not used to it. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Hilariously, this is different from Smooth Brain. It's like 40 trillion IQ. We really should have tapped this as part of this cost. Go on. Uh, because it would have meant we just had this open. In case he board wipes us somehow. Ah, oh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. That's also very interesting. Um, this is awful. <laughs> uh, I think we just unbreakable formation and run in. Yeah, I think so. You might re realize that um, they have indestructible. You might not realize they have indestructible. Possibly. We're in gold. Anything could happen. That's true. <laughs> Oh, he's he doing it? Oh boy! It may be deliberate. Might have been, but I really doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't deliberate. <laughs> Unless he's got like a board wipe now. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't. It's fine. He loses in poverty. <laughs> Oh, Rally of Wings would be so incredible. Yeah. It sold a few other cards. That's I mean, quite that's good. That's really nice. I won't call it incredible. I hope he doesn't like... <laughs> I hope he doesn't have... Uh, Embercleave. Uh, Embercleave for this. That would be a bit spooky. He, he don't have Embercleave. It's the, he has a top deck. Discarded Judith because he had to, then drew. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure this will be very beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> gold nevers be like gold noises. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Right. I don't know if it was, but. Okay. I mean, we had game anyways. That was just like, you'd clicked to go into it and then couldn't, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So. Big brain top decks. Seems good. Very good. Imagine, imagine your eight hundred dollar deck <laughs> losing a bunch of comments from Thornfell Train. <laughs> Feels pretty bad, huh? Dear Raymond, you could legitimately build this deck for about a tenner, and then um, like just uh, let, let's just cunts. show you how much you can stomp cunts. Just to very very quickly just have a look at these statistics, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Den claims. Oh shit. It's that boy. So I think the reason why Smooth Brain is so Smooth Brain, right, is because um, it's like, oh, I've invested all my money in uh, these Ember Cleaves and these Grill Spellbreakers. And so you're like, oh, I play best deck. But with this, it's a bajillion IQ because you go, no, hold on. I spent a tenner to beat you. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you I think of it? more fun for less investment. Here, I want to foil this entire deck out. 
Surely that defeats the purpose, right? Right, but it's like... What would you even consider it as? What would foil in this deck out even be like... Probably like 50p. <laughs> I oh, mean, we could get the for a set of story books. Yeah. Foils, twelve pound. Yeah, are they twelve pound each? What? No, no, four pounds. So it's twelve pounds. Oh, sure, the, sure. Yeah. Uh, this hand be fucking wailing. Bruce Banner time. Hulk smash. It's actually good to get the uh, heels in from Healer's Hawk here specifically. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm back to nineteen. Nice cavalcade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Needs more dragons and shit. These more dragons! <laughs> Here, yeah, it's literally popper. Although, it, it, does, it does play a few rares, to be fair. It plays lots of uncommon. Oh no! Why did you hit that one? These ones have lifelink. Oh my god! This is the worst card on our board! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who cares? <laughs> I'm a real wee chief. I don't care. <laughs> Man's dead. <laughs> How'd he come back from this? I'll tell you. Pro tip. He doesn't. Uh, does he? No, he doesn't kill us. Absolutely does not kill us. But we absolutely if it was even kill close, him. We'd raise the alarm. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> was it, bro? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes, nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even raise alarm. Didn't even God's will to block something in. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> You're basically an NPC that I've got to click past. <laughs> Let's be real. He was the better seek seek less than MTG best of one. <laughs> oh, and he pissed some uh, anger out. Nice. Mm. I mean, it's amazing if we get more land. What we definitely we just we just take the challenge. Right. Okay. It's a deck where, like, 14 one drops, it's, it's allowed to take the challenge. It has 14 one drops? Yep. My god. Is music playing? No, I don't think it is. That uh, song just finished. Just okay. loading up an arrow, I suppose. Oh my god, more one drops. Mm. Oh, nice. Well, now our one drops can attack. Cool. It kind of sucks, in a sense. But it could be worse. <clears throat> Cower, it's one drops. One drops off one mana. But it's fine because Conclave and Venerated Lockstone are both zero mana cards, so... Eventually. So, Venerated Lockstone is like... We Conclave those. <clears throat> Maybe. Depends. Actually, probably not. I just don't care. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna be real. I think I can just raise the alarm, and venerate Lockstone. Yeah. So you can pay five mana for a four four, or you can pay zero mana for a four four that buffs your entire field. Difficult choice. I mean, this is gonna get bigger. This thing. Yeah, but well, it's fine because you just conclude it. Oh my god, we have unbreakable formation as well. Oh Jesus. Oh. He doubles it, right? Surely. No, he fights. Huh. Interesting. Wow, okay. okay. I'd really like one more mana for that unbreakable. Well, that's not that one. Uh, you flutter fox and you conclave something. Sure. Probably Yorvo, right? Right, so. Yeah. And what's done? Yorvo, and then you smack him for six, unbelievably. Wild. 
basic land shark. Sup, ga sup guys, hi from uh, NJ, so that's what, New Zealand? No, that's NZ, uh, oh. New Jersey, I think. Oh shit, wow, well, I'm so dumb. Oh well, yeah, yeah, what yeah, the fuck yeah. is up, man? Happening. Nice to see you. Uh, we are playing some fucking wacky shit right now, so... Yeah, well, we're currently pulling, uh, not to brag, but a 71% win rate with this mono-white trash. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, we, if we... Deck lists on the side <clears throat> of the screen. Uh, I think we don't automatic... Well, it depends if he attacks. New Jersey, quite okay, guys, from Scotland. Yeah, like I said, New Jersey. <clears throat> How's, uh, New Jersey this time of year, friend? If only Unbreakable Formation had baffling like lethal. invoke. Do we? None of this has reach, right? Uh. Cool. I'm so confused. He got it. Wait, go on. I just attack with all four of these and kill him. Wait, is it? Protection from green stops and from blocking it with green. Oh, shit! So we made it to the end of the video. Thanks a lot, we really appreciate it. So if you did enjoy this video, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And then also please follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Twitch, where again, you get to watch this kind of stuff happen live. Now, we as a channel are a bit of a magic variety channel, so we're gonna be doing plenty of profiles like this, but there will also be box openings and discussions and just various other stuff like that. So if you enjoy it, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, bye.